good morning everybody welcome to my channel just kelly and i am kelly if you're returning thank you so much for your support i really really appreciate it come on in sit down um this is a going to do a completion um video and a kit down and if you're new please consider hitting that subscribe that like the bell notification and then you comment us who you are say hey anyways this is my completion it's a little 20 by 20 it's the snack that i did yesterday my sunday snack day it is for the event big butts um, co-hosted by diamond grandma and um i will have to uh, circle back around with you guys on who's hosting the event. I have a difficult time remembering her channel name for, for some reason. Anyways, it's been great fun. This is only my second completion. I got four canvases, one for each, one for each of the week and one for a, a little, um, uh, just, you know, in case there was any delays. Well, I've had lots of delays this month. I don't think I'm gonna get all four done. I do have one that's already that's kitted up and that I have started. Um, I just haven't worked on it a bit, but I am glad that this one is completed. This is my little snack, um, Sunday snack, and I call it double base. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to kit down. Um, a little later I will go ahead and seal this up after I seal it up I, I do you know cut off the thumbprint and the legend I put it in my log book so let's move these ladies out of the way and I just go with my when I kit it up I used um, tic tacs and I put you can see I used a little bit of washi and just a little label and I take a little extra time at kit up because it makes kitting down go so much faster and i don't have to wash all the gunk or any glue off there's no residue at all so the first one that um we're going to do this is the box where i keep my excess diamonds in for now you can see this is a a, a recent timu haul review i did with these little pink dividers they worked out really well i'm quite happy with those um, and you can see I kitted down the first one already and I just put it in these little um, uh, baggies here um, and this was V number one which was 152 now I also use these stickers that I got from Timu and these just have the DMC codes and they come in rounds or squares for whatever you're you're kitting down or kitting up if you um, care to use these. You can see I just use little labels on these because I didn't want to use, um, you know, a sticker. I just, I had the labels and it was no big deal. So this was number, uh, this symbol was V and it was color 152. So I take my little label here, 152, and I stick it on here. 152 and then I just file it away like that so that one's done okay so number two was the K and it is 347 so first I'm going to check to see if I have a 347 which I do not. So I take one of my, my little thingy hairs and I'm gonna look for my dot three, four, seven, which is right here. And we'll just add this on here.
This way, if I ever have more of this color, if I run out, you know, and I only need a few, I don't have to put in an order and wait for it. Um, I have run out of lots of colors already. So, um, yeah, this is why I do this. Um, because Chloe does like to spill diamonds. I have a tendency to spill diamonds. So all I'm doing now is I'm just taking off this and there's absolutely no residue, no stickiness at all. And then I keep um, my extra Tic Tacs and extra boxes that I, that I have in um, this reusable little a zip bag that I also got from Tina, one of their lounge sets. I really like like their PJ little lounge sets. Very, very comfortable, very, very inexpensive. So there, we have two done. And we go down to number three, which is I do have little dividers in here, which they were a little bit taller. So again, I don't have 598, which isn't surprising because I'm just starting out, right? Um, so a lot of these are colors that I haven't used before. So let's find 598. I had gotten that one out. That's all right. Five ninety eight, and five ninety eight is tea. And here's my leftover teas. right in there in the fives. Now you can see this is going to, it will expand quite rapidly, right? Where you have to get different boxes for different things. But right now I think I, I can manage with just the one box. Um, Okay, so the next color then is W, which is 823. Okay, so no I hope everyone is well and 
keeping warm. It's been getting really cold here, um, especially at night and early mornings. Um, but nothing compared to like what it is back east or you who get snow. Um, I couldn't imagine. Um, anyways, stay warm, stay well, stay healthy. The next one is O and it is 824. Uh, I don't think I saw that, but I'm just going to double check. See, I have 823, and then it goes 838, so okay. Um, I'm going to have to order. I'm almost out of these. Um, I only have a couple left. What is this one? Now, see, here's one around that I forgot to put a, a label on it. Yikes. I, I got to figure what that one is. All right, so we are on W, which is eight. No, we did W. So we are on O, which is 824. Okay, after 8.24 is 9.06. Goes 902, 909. So 906. Which is H. going, no, please don't put me away. I don't want to go away. And we'll stick that one in there. Next, we are on number seven, which is 3072. Oh, and I have a 3072. Look at that. 3072, which is I... Yeah. So all I have to do on this one is 
I think I'm, I, I like it when I stick it down here better because there's a little perforation here and I think I just might cut these tops off. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, there's 3072. And then the next one is 3607. which I don't even have. Um, I'm gonna need to put in a new um, one here, because I don't have 3607. Um, and then I am going to um, need some baggies. I know I have some dust laying around. I got my coffee, I got my water. Mm. I want my bag. Okay, so I said we are on uh, 03607, did I? Yeah, okay, I looked at that. I didn't have any 36s at all. So let me get the thing, 30, 36, 30, oh, here it is, 3607. And 3607 is number P. I have lots of baggies, so I mean, you don't even have to buy these ones. I just thought that they would stand up a bit better. Um, and they do, because baggies tend to just like fall down. I don't know how people keep their sitting upright. Um, but yeah, there's, okay, so there's my 3607, we'll stick that in there, and tear off my tape. Okay, next we are on 3810. And we have one. We have a 3810, which is E. Yep, and it matches. Matches good. few more left. Okay, that was 3810. Now we have 3828. 3840, 3823. So I do not have a that let me see if I have 
So that's Joe. That's a big baggie. <laughs> I knew I threw a bunch of baggies over here because um, I was going to put them away. Um, let's see what I did with them. is for a 3828 which this is a nice baggie I mean this is substantial it is you know it is um, thick so this if you got baggies like this, that is this um, extra thick, then you might not need to uh, get these. I think these would stand up rather, you know, well over time, and I and I think that they it wouldn't it wouldn't you know squish down into your to your um, stash, 3828, 3810, 3823. So yeah, see that would stand up and you could probably get lots more of those types of baggies in um, and have, you know, more room. I like those. Um, I'd have to look into those or see if I have any more of those in my in my stash. Um, okay, so what's next? We have 3844. So it goes 3842 to 38. Okay, let me see if I can find some more baggies. I know I have. I keep my baggies hanging up on my thing. Um, I call everything thingies, things. Um, but I will give you... I plan on um, doing a... is the what you would call a dining room <laughs> that I converted over to my craft room because nobody was using the dining room and the only thing that happened was every um, the dining room table was just a catch-all just a catch-all for everything um, I'm looking to see if I have any more of those really good bags. Um, I don't think so. I have to keep an eye out. Okay, these are like bags that you get from um, Diamond Art Club in their in their packages, in their toolkits. So I'm just going to open this one up, take out a few of these baggies. See, these are kind of, they're, you know, they, I don't think, see, they, they wouldn't stand up. They're not, I'm not really digging these. Okay, so let's see, I am on, what did I say, 38.44? Yeah, 3844. So let's find a sticker for that one. And 3844 is G.
Two left. Now we have 3845, which we also don't have. And 3845 is an S. And the last one is 3846, which we also don't have. You know, eventually I just like to have a box for um, my rounds, a box for my squares, a box for round ABs, a box for square ABs, you know, a box for specials. Right now I have my specials in, um, in these Tic Tacs and I just keep them in there and they're in a little um their own little file thing. All right, we'll just take off this washi and we are done with kitting down. So all we have to do now is, I think what I'm going to do is keep uh, a package of baggies in there since I no longer have, we'll just keep a, a few. We don't need them all in there because I keep my baggies in this little um, Dreamer Design uh, pouch, <laughs> our pouches. I, as, as they get full, then I <laughs> start another one. It's just convenient for me to, you know, have everything in one, one spot. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then I will put all my Tic Tacs back away in their little baggie. In their big baggie. will all go in the trash. My little trash bin is filled with comment names that's going into our drawing for a first milestone of reaching 500 subscribers. And we'll just, there we go. We can put this aside. Whoop. Oh, you didn't get, you didn't get put in a home. That's all right. You're going in the trash. There you go. Now then, 
we have, let me put my stickers away. Our next, whoop, I forgot to put these back in the box. These have to be de-kitted. That was from the Princess and the Pea uh, kitty. Uh, the trails, I haven't put it down yet. <laughs> okay. Um, I will be right back with our next step. Here we go. Now, for our sealant. I'm gonna take a little cardboard here just to protect my surface. Now, I am just using a Minwax polyacrylic um, double fast drying protection um, it is a top coat it is premium water based um, and this one is the clear semi gloss so this is what I'm using now I have already um, rolled this and what I use, I just use my Cricut uh, roller. And I just, you know, very quickly roll it to get everything set down. Um, If I have a lot of little pieces of wax or something, I'll take a toothbrush or, you know, a brush across this to, but there isn't a whole lot in here. I use um, a special, um, this is a two inch uh, brush. It is um, a, Here's the cover it goes in. It's a um, Minwax water-based stain and top coat brush. Um, and it is made, it's a polyester nylon brush and it's, it's made for the 
poly acrylic. So that's what I use. And then I use the old um, uh, what do you call it? chopstick. just gonna go around here I don't think I can I don't break my chopstick <laughs> lift up my can here there we go Just gonna stir it real good. It's kind of milky, it's kind of thin. I like when it's milky because you can see that you get it all through the cracks. Okay, so here we have everything looks really good, nice and pressed in. And I'm just going to take a little. I like to make sure I get the edges really, really good. So you can see I'm just going around my edges first. I like to I want to make sure that I get all those edges nice and sealed, secured in there. I seal everything, I except for you know the premiums. I do not seal my diamond art clubs or my designer designs. Um I think there's it negates your warranty on them but if it's a budget painting i am going to seal it and now i'm just going over the middle getting everything down into the cracks making sure that i have sealer surrounding every little bead I do you need to make sure that you wash your brush immediately keep it nice and soft for your next use yes yeah, so, sometimes you'll see little bubbles now if I do this and I have special drills what I will do then is I'll take a sponge, and a lot of times I just use a makeup sponge, and I, um, you know, I dap it in water, squeeze it out real good, and just go over the tops of the special drills lightly to get the coating off the top, because the main thing is, is you want it down into the cracks, right? This time, this is when um, you want the sealant into the cracks because it's really going to um, secure those um, beads in there. 
Okay, and that's it, my friends. That's what I have for you on my Sunday, Sunday snack. Review, completion, sealer, <laughs> kit down, <laughs> all of the above. All right, there we have it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please, if you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing liking, hitting that bell notification, and leaving me a comment. Thanks so much, friends. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still going. Good. That means yay. Bye-bye <laughs> now.